Welcome back. I'm Dave Warren here with the new advisory, and uh, this just came in from the National Hurricane Center. These are intermediate advisories. The track does not update. Uh, one thing it uh, has found that uh, the pressure has dropped down to 944. The wind up uh, five miles an hour to 145. Uh, more importantly, that movement, it's uh, west at 12. It's kind of taking that north movement out still at 25.8 degrees, but expected to get a little push, pushed a little farther west. Still might try to creep to the north a bit, uh, but we'll watch that closely here as it continues continues to move west northwest storm size is there. This, this is a track from five o'clock, so this did not update, uh, but it does show that it continues to move west as that category four impacting the northern Bahamas. We'll see that over the next 24 to 48 hours because there it is at Monday at two o'clock. Now we'll watch for any type of changes here. It might try to drift to the south or wobble a bit, but overall we'd like to see that uh, move, movement continue to be west and actually start to push a little farther north. Then we see where it sets up here because if forecast is now for it to turn to the north and slow down. So I want to see how close it is here uh, to the coast as it moves north uh, there to take the storm with it and uh, the impacts will be less and less, but uh, it might still be impacting the coast. It still can make some landfall and make landfall here along Florida, but uh, th there's that cone that forecast cone and notice it's retreating a bit uh, there to the north out of the area. Uh, here's what led to that increased wind speed. Uh, air, Hurricane Hunter aircraft flying through through, found the center and found the wind speed increasing and it's still taking its flight uh, uh, conditions now.